Hello StarCraft fans and welcome to another cast brought to you by StarCast TV. This time around, we've got a Terran versus Protoss. We've got ASL Champ Rush going up against one of the best macro Protoss versus Terrans of all time. It is best. So we've got a TVP on Polypoid. And this should be a good one because Rush when I do watch his games, he is someone that goes 2-1 quite often, which is very standard, but he does mix in a lot of different builds too. Stuff like 7 Fact on two bases. I often see him go for star ports. I think more than most Terrans. So this could be an exciting game. And then of course we know, of course, this guy right here, he knows how to build those gateway units. He's never missing a beat, he's never missing macro cycles, and this time around we do have a forward gate, so we're going to have some zealot pressure. And lately when I've been watching forward gate play, whether it's ASL or PSL, the zealot tends to not get much damage. So we'll see if Best will be able to actually get any damage done once he sees that Terran is at top right for a cross spawn. And if Rush, okay, he is gonna go for gas. So it is gonna be a 12 gas. I was gonna say if he does go for gasless, this Rack's positioning is not exactly the greatest for him. He would not really have much to SimCity off with at his natural. However, Best is gonna come in here and he will find Rush at the second position. And with it being cross spawn, I think this probe will get there in time before the zealot completes and he may actually cancel this. Nope, not going to be the case. I was going to say maybe he'll cancel it and go into a nexus, but instead he is just going into a delayed gas. Meanwhile, Rush. Now this guy, he really knows how to streamline his build. Every single time I watch him play, it feels like he's been able to get his factory out even faster than he did in any other game. And look at this, we're going to have... A 220 well it could have been a 226 factory but he moved his SCV so a 228 factory that's that's pretty freaking fast before people were doing all these mineral boostings and stuff you would see players get something like 235 236 factory that doesn't sound like a big difference oh now and it's only 8 10 seconds faster well let me tell you vultures only take 19 seconds so that's half an additional vulture for you Anyways, we do see the first Zealot and Probe coming in, and he's going to have to run for his life because there's no Sim City at this entrance. And more than likely, we're going to see the standard three Marines. I've been seeing more and more players go into a fast Vulture. And with your fast Vulture, you got to get the Depot, but we've got the engagement here. Probe hitting the wrong Marine, though. However, he still takes down all of them oh my gosh he gets every single one of them and the zealot's like yep let me just walk on out of here like a boss and meanwhile the scv unfortunately for rush is going to get a last scout off and he's in a bit of trouble now that he's going to have to be forced to build additional marines but as i say that somehow he knows that this is a fast nexus and actually it's not a rushed goon so he is going to be okay if this was a rushed goon and he had one Marine, one Vulture, oh, he would be in trouble. Now back in Russia's main, what's this SCV going to be up to? It looks like we could have a Starport. As I stated, he is really well known for going into Starport play. And there it is. So we're going to have some harassment. But the probe gets in and sees it. Now what does this trigger in response from Best? Well, just goes for standard Robo. He's not deviating his build at all. No real need to do so. And with it being scouted, I think you got to cancel this, right? Yeah, there we go. We, he does cancel it this time around. I think that's a smart move. And at pro level, you know, you do have to consider, okay, I scouted it, but will this guy actually cancel or not? Because oftentimes I see at pro level that they don't cancel. They still go for it. So I like this move, this switch up, where he is actually going to cancel this time and then transition this into a third command center. And this is interesting because after showing the starport, 
You know, these goons have to be defensive, but I am a little bit surprised that Best doesn't even poke out with just one goon to actually confirm what's going on. Because he knows that Rush has no tanks. He knows that the tank count, if there is even a single one, is going to be extremely low. But instead, he's opted to just play extremely defensively, and I actually thought this was a Stargate. But that is going to be a gateway. And if Rush gets away with this, this is unheard of. This is the actual GOAT opening for Terran. 12 gas, double expand off of, what is it, 3 vultures maybe? This is just crazy econ for him if he can get this up and running. But he's going to have to be very careful. Well, actually I'm thinking about it. Does he really need to be careful? All he has to really worry about is a Dragoon bust. Because when Protoss scouts this, they're going to be going into Observer first. Like, they're going to be on the back foot with the Observer and the Goon. They're not rushing Reaver because if the guy goes dropship Wraith... Well, you're just running your Reaver into a Wraith, and, well, everybody knows that's not ideal. So, I love it. I think if he can just build a bunker, like, right here, get some Sim Cities going down with depots to just bug out the AI, floated racks, this is amazing for him. And look at this. This is not something you see every day. Completed third command center, whereas Protoss is the one just now starting their third Nexus. And if we take a look at what Best actually has, what is this? Three goons, four, five, six, six goons, a zealot, and that's it. Now, meanwhile, we do have a pretty quick forge, and this has to be, I imagine, the support bay, right? That's a tiny building right there. Can't click it, though. Let me see if I can find the panel. Oh, there it is. Oh, and of course, I can't see it. But that is the citadel and the forge. So we do have gateway man coming in no support bay for the robo for the reaver i mean and the observer just got in and he is not happy about this Terran getting away with a fast third base he he didn't even rush siege either like i think he just now got it so his his unit count is not that bad but what what would have been amazing is if there was a zealot bomb because look at this there's no mines really except for right here three vultures not even a bunker not even turrets Bulldog play would have been an amazing move, but, you know, when you don't have vision like that, you can get punished easily. And he doesn't even miss his armory timing, so he's already got plus one weapon, about 25% done. Starport should be coming in probably right after these factories at around 8 minutes. And Rush is just going to have a really sick timing. He's been... I mean, look at this. He hasn't built turrets. He doesn't have an academy to scan. Like... He's just now building his first turrets. Reaver would have been amazing, but like I said, when you open like this and your starport gets scouted, the other guy has to respect that. It's more than likely going to be Observer. He knew that was going to be the case, and now he's gotten away with just a, a ridiculously streamlined build. And really, we're just waiting for him to max out and go for a timing. I would say it is a little bit crazy that there's still no Academy here for the commsats. Because he doesn't know whether this is shuttle play, you know, how many bases Best has. He doesn't know if this is Arbor, like we saw. He doesn't know if this is a weird two-base Stargate play. But we, of course, know that this is going to be four bases. And at the bottom right, actually, he is hiding his starport. And, you know, I've always thought about this. I've always theorized this in my mind. What if I just go for a hidden starport like this? The Observer never sees the Starport, right? So the Observer is going to think, like, okay, this guy's just going for, you know, a massive plus one weapon bust. But obviously, that's not the case because I've got this hidden here. Now, of course, if this gets scouted and you lose your science facility, you lose your Starport, that's a big loss. You're losing a lot of gas for that. And you're also losing the ability to pump out vessels for any type of EMP timing. So this time around, I don't think this is actually going to get scouted. And... Rushes just has an amazing build. I also like how his SCV count. You can see he's now stopped at 65. <laughs> now he gets commsats. Oh my gosh. This is one of those one of those builds where you wish you could do it in the latter game, but the people you play against are just never going to allow this. Oh, DTs. I, I, I knew it. I was like, man, he has absolutely no detection at all. It would be crazy 
if the DTs get in here and do some damage. And he does take a few SCV losses, but the scans clean up both. So he ends up losing five SCVs, but with three command centers, you know, that's 30 seconds really lost. Pretty much, that's it. He can just rebuild those SCVs so quickly. Now we actually don't have any add-on at all for the starport, so this Arbiter timing is going to be quite good. Let's see what he scanned. Oh, whoops. That's not what we wanted. Okay, he scanned the natural, and he knows Protoss is out in the map somewhere, but he doesn't know exactly where. He also didn't scan the main yet, so I still don't think he's aware that this is Arbiter play. Best is really well known for shuttle and just mass gates. So he may be a little thrown off that this is Arbiters, but probably not too much. Now the Observer, I think it also got taken out in the main. Okay, it's right here. So he sees the armory spinning again. So at this point, he should know that the starport's probably hidden somewhere. And we do have fourth base coming up for Terran. So four base Terran versus four base Protoss. Best is also someone that every time I watch his games, he's somewhat low on probe count, but this time around 61, that's a little bit higher than some games I've seen of him. A lot of times I see him kind of hover around 55. So this time a little bit better econ than I'm used to, and we may see upwards of 20 gateways if he can get another main. Right now there's only nine. So not that much production actually in comparison to Terran. And we do have triple add-on. I'm surprised that despite this third base being so quick, Rush only has seven factories. I would have expected him to have something like nine, but you know, he can barely afford all this once he goes for another cycle of tanks. He's not going to have much left over. Now, where's the starport? Okay, he's floating it up here. Okay, that's interesting, and look at that. That's, that is a gap there, so Rush does need to keep that in mind, because if he thinks that it's not and only leaves like one tank for defense, well, he's in a world of trouble. We've just got some trades of vultures versus those dragoons, and they're gonna die pretty quickly, actually. So, see you later, goons. Another scan goes off. And what did he scan? I didn't. Okay, he scanned over here. He wanted to see if he was gonna counterattack, but instead, we've got a massive run by. All of these vultures are just gonna try and deal crippling blows to the mineral line, but actually. They didn't really do that much. He gets a few probes, but he actually lost a considerable amount of vultures. But of course, vultures super cheap. He is still building up that tank count, so that's fine. I like his turret ring. Now, something that's a little different of Rush compared to, for example, Mihu and BSL. Mihu would have built all of his depots like here to limit the surface area for the recall. Let's see how much best can actually get recalled in here. This is only two turrets, so this is not going to be enough to stop it. And this is a heartbreaker for Rush because he had the defense. He even has tanks set up here, but he's going to lose a lot. The mines, eh, there's not that many, but actually these depots around the command center are pretty punishing. Allowing it, or allowing the vultures and the goon, or the tanks to trade pretty well. At the same time we see a vulture, or a zealot run by, attempted run by at the third base. But there's really not much here. gets taken down, Zealots get taken down, and actually that was not that good of a trade at all for Protoss. Protoss still has a big probe count though. He does have a lot of bases, fifth base even coming up. But my issue is this gateway count. It's still nine. I guess ten technically with the natural. Oh no. Did Best did Best mess up his mining? He's paying so much attention to his units that he's messed up his mining. I'm skeptical of this replay. A lot of units are kind of all stuck together. Okay, there's the there's the recall attempted recall at mid right, but you know, Rush is someone that's really on top of his units and movement, and so is Best. All right, well we'll see. Right now, the factory count still looks extremely low to me, despite having four bases. He does have Vessel coming out. Tanks are kind of just sitting at this rally point. This doesn't really strike me as a likely game where we have so many probes 
like this. Goons. Messed up. You know what? I'm actually gonna restart the replay. Because this looks broken. We'll see though. I'm gonna feel bad if it's not. Alright, we do have the recall. It just went off. And we can see that supplies pretty much the same as when we left off. But look, the rally point definitely has been fixed. What about these probes? Probes have also been fixed, so I am happy to see that it was broken for us. Because it really did look weird. We do have this recall attempting to come in, but there's a little bit too much defense for Rush. And, you know, Terran on four bases this is a really strong position. He's got his first vessel coming out. He doesn't have EMP for a while. But if you're Protoss here, where do you really attack? Like, there's really not a lot of positions to attack. Vultures are going to deny bottom right. And something that I noticed before we left that replay was there was no second army. It is just now going to complete. So that means that Terrans actually has no armor upgrades. And that's a big deal. Vultures die really quickly when they're behind armor to weapon versus Protoss. And Protoss is already at plus two. So these Dragoons and Zealots are going to be hitting really hard, especially versus the, the Vultures. And that means Protoss is going to trade quite effectively. Of course, Terran's going to have plus three weapon pretty soon, I'm sure. So he'll need to keep that in mind. But really, the lack of armor upgrades is a big deal. And Protoss already has 2-1. 2-1 is pretty freaking good versus 2-1 of Terran. So we'll see how this actually pans out for our Terran player. Back in... Protoss's main. The one thing I am worried about is this gateway count. It's still, you know, 11. Terran now finally going into nine factories. I would have expected this to be much faster, but it is what it is. It's not like he's been floating minerals or anything or floating gas. He's pretty low on gas consistently with his triple add-on. And Rush may consider taking a fifth base. He's maxed out. He's got a lot of upgrades. He's got the Vessel. He's got a lot of Vultures. He's going to have plus three in a second. And, you know, there's really nothing that Protoss can do to stop him from taking it. Now, this is the dance that you see between TVP and TVP so often is the Vessel versus the Arbiter. You don't want to get Stasis your Arbiter. You really want to land that EMP if you can. And he does lose the vessel to the stasis arbiter. But he's running over a lot of goons here. However, this is not his whole army, of course. All those tanks are just waiting for Best to engage because that's what Best loves to do. And here he comes. He's decided now's the moment, but I don't know about this. That's a lot of dragoons, a decent amount of zealots. He's got some good storm, but remember... All the tanks in the front are stasis, but an amazing storm in the back. He hits four tanks. If he can get another one, that's a lot of tanks to die. And now we see Terran Supply is kind of... Well, I was going to say it did plummet, but actually it's pretty even with Protoss. And now the unstasis occurring near the tail end of that fight. But I would say that was an effective trade for, for Best right there. And the reason I say that, he's got a, a decent amount of tanks. He got the Vessel. He's got six bases with a seventh coming up at bottom right. He's got good probe count. And Best is someone that does manage his probes quite well. I expect him to transfer over pretty soon. And he's got good upgrades. Like, he's been nailing his upgrades. Of course, as I say that, this forge is not spinning. But he's got plus three weapon. He's going to have one armor, one, one shield pretty soon. And Terran's still no armor upgrades. Now, we do have a massive minefield, but that's a lot of cannons. That's going to be denied. And despite having the fast third base, and even somewhat quick fourth base, I'm getting a little worried that Rush is not going to be able to take top middle. Like, I feel like he would have tried to position over there. And there's the 10th and 11th factory. You know, when I watch Flash play, he always has upwards of 10 to 12 factories every single time he plays. And how many factories is this? This is 7, 8, 9, 10... So it is 12 fact, so he does have the juicy 12 fact, which is just so strong. And that's a good stasis. Unfortunately, he didn't get any of the tanks. He just got the vessel, but he's got multiple stasises. He's got two more left over. There's really not that many Goliaths here. So the Arbiters will be able to land those stasises pretty easily. Now, this is a 
crucial moment. We've got Terran Unsiege moving towards the left side. And, you know, I get asked this in almost every time in TVP. If I'm Terran and I'm in a situation like this, where do I attack? And we actually have Rush going for the main. I don't know about this because this base is going to be mined out. Main and Natra are going to be mined out. You know, you're never going to get into the main. I think that actually he should have considered attacking bottom right. That's also where the army is. But at the same time, it does cut off reinforcements. It does allow him to get a fifth base if he wants to. But what is Protoss going to do in this scenario? I think he's just going to counter. He's got so many bases. He's got so many Arbiters that he can afford to surprisingly give up three bases and still be fine. Terran's mined out in his third base. Mined out in his main, basically. Mined out in his natural. Terran's on one base. However, this army is menacing. This is something like 24 tanks. And now we have Rush moving over to the right side, and he has caught all of the army over here. The vessel does not get off the EMP, but the stasis really doesn't hit that much. However, Best is starting to get an absurd bank. 4k, 3k almost. This army is caught, and it does die, and this does open up a pathway for Terran to consistently reinforce this position and bust bottom right and this base and potentially this base so this could be three bases going down in an instant that are very critical to protoss we do have a lot of storm though and rush maybe not paying attention that's a good storm hits a lot of the tanks but we do have this scenario like i said where tanks could branch off and just kill a lot of bases for now what's best doing oh he had a recall at mid right and that's critical for him he shuts down pretty much the only mining base from terran right now Terran still has no command center up here. He's got a command center built, but hasn't floated it. Rush is basically not mining. He's got a decent bank, but he's not mining. Now this army, I okay, actually, I don't think it is going to get cleaned up. These depots are going to backfire. It's not going to allow the Terran army to get in. So actually, this base is going to die. This base did die, but of course, he could just transfer probes over here. It looks like he didn't because he lost a few. But Protoss still has so many bases. Okay, this might fall, but Zealot's going to come in and save the day. And I think Best has done it. This doesn't look like a situation that you can recover from as Terran. Losing all your e income. He has no way of taking this. There's 10 goons sitting there. And these tanks are just stalled. Like, he's not moving at all anywhere. Finally, he unsieges. But there's so much stuff over here now. There's so much stuff on the left side. Like... This isn't even the entirety of Protoss' army right now. You hear scans going off nonstop. He's desperately trying to save this base, but this is just so hard to engage into when Protoss has Storm, especially when they have multiple storms in the shuttle. SCVs thought that they could transfer over there and start mining, but no sir. You still gotta clean up these six goons and handful of Templars. Yeah, I thought that might have been a, another recall. But Protoss is just in the driver's seat. He could actually use these... these. Okay, that's why he was bank, he was banking up right here. As he was attempting to recall again. But he does back out now that Terran has refortified this position. Meanwhile, Protoss has <laughs> resaturated by middle. And that's something you never want to see. One mineral for Terran. Well, we do have... Terran moving across the map again, and he is going to find really not much stuff here. This recall over here, okay, finally he's going to be moving the units into position. He's going to bust down a few of the tanks, but really he needs to get like his army over here. Terran's going to move in to this base and knock that down. Meanwhile over here, Best, eh, he's got a decent amount of storm. We've got, oh, actually he's got some Templars loaded up gonna try and save that base but I don't think that's gonna really happen you can see that he already evacuated his probes and Terran well what's Terran gonna do because he's still unable to get this base at top left or top middle I mean he is long distance mining the mineral only I hear so many storms going off okay the shuttle gets taken down oh the the storms are just beautiful though and best man you need to get these units over here to help fin this off like there's a lot of tanks here finally he's going to start using his units on the left side to try and engage and he really needs to get over here quickly because if this command center lands 
And this one lands also coming down here for the double expand. Well, Terran could be back in it, despite Protoss being on five bases. Because if we look at what Protoss actually has, Protoss is basically not mining his main, nat, or third base. All he has left is mid left, which is also mined out. So he's got to save this base. I thought that was a, 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 an arbiter going for a recall, but not the case. We do have Protoss finally going to take top left, though. But we've got an engagement. This is not that many goons, so that's not going to do much. Here comes the Zealots. We've got double stasis available. Units coming in through the right side. Looks like that was a miniature recall right there that got shut down. Great D matrixes. Basically. Protoss just lost 40 or 50 supply. Terran lost, I don't know, 15 to 20. So that was an amazing trade. And now look at this. Rush is actually mining. So he's not out of it yet. I can't believe this. He's got his 3-2 power spike now. Protoss. Well, it's still going to be hard getting in here. Because that's a lot of zealots. But I don't see any storms available. And if we have an EMP... Okay, I guess we don't have any energy for that. But an EMP would be amazing. But Rush is going to continue to push in here. If he can land this command center, that's going to be two base e income for him. Look at this. I can't believe Protoss is not mining. Uh, he has no money. I mean, he has 1k, 1k. He just spent a lot on four cannons, though. Dude, did Rush really do it? These Arbiters still have five stasises, though. I think a counterattack would be amazing. You know Terran's prioritizing all of their units at bottom right to try and to deny this base. So if he was to go for a counterattack, look at what Terran has. It's three tanks, three vultures. This could this could be amazing. Oh, are we gonna get off a juicy stasis? Well, that's not it. And what? He actually turned around, okay. He's afraid of the mines. Does he have an observer? He does. But instead, he's going to try and engage here. And actually, a lot of the Terran is out of position. Oh, we've got a, a combo attack. With all the Zealots and Archons built up, he's, en he's engaging on the high ground. And at the mineral only, those are great storms. And there's not any tanks really left over. And that storm is fantastic. Hits so many SCVs. And what looked like a potential comeback from Rush, well, that's not going to happen anymore because his tank count and SCV count just got eviscerated. Look at the supplies. Down to just 90. Protoss at 150. And there it is, GG. Man, what a game. There were moments where I thought, is Best really letting Rush back into the game? But no, he was just getting his army all together. And what looked like a great opener for Rush, remember he got three bases instantly. He took a fourth base somewhat quickly, but he didn't do anything with that econ. Like, there was only a couple times where he picked off some goons in the center of the map. I only remember one run by with the vultures to the natural, which didn't do any damage. And Protoss just exploded onto seven bases. And it doesn't really matter how fast Terran gets three or four bases. If you let Protoss have four base, uh, seven bases with banked up stasis all the time, you're just really not going to have the engagements you want. So, thank you guys for watching. That was a great game, and I look forward to seeing you in future casts.